In this video, we will learn about sorting and filtering um, an Excel data sheet. Uh, so this is our Excel data sheet here. Um, so we select that and we want to sort it. So we will go in data. Under sort and filter, we will click on sort. So um, we want to sort based on this, say, class average and sort on values and you want largest to smallest um, next you can add a level for say student name you want it alphabetically so you, you say A to Z and you click OK so this is your sorted order so first it's been sorted according to the class average which is here and then it's sorted after the student name all right so this is your sorting and um, we can select this again go on sort again suppose um, you don't have any names for your columns so you can uncheck that and you can get names accordingly to the column letter here so student name will be column B and so on also, if you click on options, you can sort from left to right, meaning you can sort for the rows instead of the columns. So if you check for that, you can click OK and we can delete this. So we can sort for row 4. So since that's the column name, let's say row 4, and you want it in Z to A order, so you click OK. And this is your order here, so it's descending order. You can see it's student name and then it's exam, and then A comes at the last. So this is sorting. Now for filtering, we will select this again and we will click on filter. So you see these drop down here that shows up. So the drop down menus, um, you can click for class average. Say you want it for 88.6. So you can unselect them all. And then you can select only for 88.6 is the class average that you're looking for, only those students. So you click OK. So these are the two students with the class average of 88.6. You can select them all again to display all of them. Um, next, if you want uh, to see the top 10, you can go click on the drop down. In number filters, you can click on top 10. So this will display the top 10 to you. These are the top 10 students, the highest class average. You can see it here in a descending order since that, that was a sorting that we had done initially. Um, next, if you want it to be customized, you can do a custom filter and say class average is greater than say 81 and is less than say 82 and you click OK. So you just have two students with the class average for that custom filter.